Hey guys. Good afternoon. Good morning. Friday the whatever it is of October near the end. Mitch. Go. Go say hello. Come on, Mitch. No one at the door. Oh. Come on. There you go. There you go. There's Mitch. Hello, Mitch. Um, right, anyway, good morning and uh, welcome back to your Ed's Shed. I said it first, not anyone who goes on these things say, welcome to my channel. It's not, they're doing it for you, they're not doing it for themselves, they're doing it for you. So it's your channel. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I call it my channel, it's ridiculous. Um, I just suppose um, Jonathan Ross calls it my show and... They all call it my show on the TV, so I suppose these people that call it my show or my channel are just getting a bit celeb, celebified. Anyway, welcome back to Ed Shed. Um, and welcome back to Mitch. You love it. I was going to do uh, a video about other things, but I've had a request. Um, oh, God, I've forgotten your name. Jeez. I'll put it in at the end. I'll, I'll I'll type it along that bit there, or that bit there, or maybe up there. Or no, it won't be up there. It'll be up there. No, it'll be on the TV anyway. Um, the request was, um, can I do a, a quick video about what to wear um, when riding a motorbike in the winter? Um, so what I'll do is I'll just tell you. I won't teach you granite that suck eggs. I'd love to know where that saying comes from, but I won't do that. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just go over what I think, and then remember it's my opinion and it works for me, on what to wear on a motorcycle when you're riding in the winter. Um, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna say, this doesn't have to cost a fortune, um, because we all, we all know that, but us, us guys that ride motorcycles, read the motorcycle magazines and all that, and you've got a heated this and a heated that and a thermal this, a thermal that. And it can cost a fortune, it really can. By the time you've got to be a serious, serious winter rider to, to wear all this gear. Or be a serious commuter that only has a motorcycle. Um, anyway, let's go. Let's go. That's a club called the Lost Ones in uh, Holland. They're very, very, very good. They, they did. They used to have patches and and all that. They used to have all this palaver on their jackets and all that. Um, and a little while, about a few, a few millennium ago, um, they, 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 they didn't get in trouble, but they was they kept being asked the question. Are you an MC? Are you a this? Are you a that? So in the end they said, well no, we're just a motorcycle club, but we won't wear patches because it gets you in too much trouble. We'd rather just be a club, have no patches, but we all know we're in a club, and that's all that matters. They didn't go into the old politics of it all. Anyway, digress. Over to there. All right, Mitch, time to get down. Good girl. From the from the bottom up, or from the inside out, that's the best way of doing it. That's the best way of looking at how you are going to get dressed for your motorcycle um, cold weather riding. I mean, it's chilly today. It's chilly today. Um, from the inside out, you don't go from the bottom up, you go from the inside out. Um, there's a few basic um, things you have to remember. These, and I won't bring a toe up, these are my toes, are the digits. They are the extremities of your body. They are at the, they are at the, the farthest end from that bit. 
And that's the bit that your brain says, I must keep warm. Um, that's the bit that must keep warm. Uh, your heart, lungs, all your internal organs, and all that must keep warm. So, what the brain does is the brain says, right, um, the body temperature's coming down, I need to keep these bits warm so these bits, they can get colder. I don't need that going colder. And it sets up all these internal mechanisms that, that, that um, makes that happen. I'm not a doctor, I don't know. Anyway, what we need to do is, because because these things we need, we need these things to clutch, accelerate, uh, brake. Now as I said, brake last. Um, but we need these to work, so we've got to keep these warm. Um, and this is what I would say is what I think is the way to do it. All right. All right, so that's why I say you work inside out. You don't work bottom up, you work inside out. So at the very, very inside is you inside. You've got to get that warm. Um, if you go out on a cold day and you're cold, you will be colder as soon as you walk out the door because you're already cold. So you've got to get that inside warm before you go out. Remember the old advert with the ready break and that warm glow? Well, the ready break, that's, that's a real thing. It's a, the ready break and all that, it, the way that, that food works, it warms you up from the inside out and it's really good. That really is true. Um, a hot drink, a hot drink before you go out will warm your inside up. Um, now, somebody said to me a long while ago, the best thing to drink on a hot day is a hot drink um, because your body has to regulate itself at a, a temperature. Come on. Uh, your body has to regulate itself at a temperature. So if you drink a hot drink, that drink is hotter than your body temperature, so your body then starts going into cool down mode. That's why you sweat and all this stuff. Um, and the worst thing to drink on a hot day is a cold drink, because then your body says, blimey, that's cold, I've got to warm myself up, and it starts to warming you up so I don't know what the answer is drink a lukewarm drink on a hot day um, and, and your body doesn't have to do much work well when you're going outside on a hot day uh, sorry when you're going outside in a cold day you've got to drink a hot drink because your body needs to stay warm as soon as your brain realizes how cold it is out it won't start that process of cooling you down it will in fact keep you warm right so a hot drink or a hot snack or a hot meal before you go out in the cold doesn't matter what time of the day doesn't matter where you're going if you're going out on a motorcycle or out in a, in a cold weather for any length of time no even five minutes have something hot to drink or eat because you will feel the benefit of it. You won't get cold so fast. Blimey, it's turning into a bit of a lecture. Um, right. So that's that. So that's the inside out. That's why I say keep warm inside out. Um, your next thing is your base layer. Your base layer. Go down to um, uh, America, you go to Walmart. Um, we, we would go to. Uh, Oh God, all these cheap, cheap peacocks and um, Primark and all that, and we'd, go, we'd do that over here. Go over there and get yourself some um, thermal, thermal underwear, for want of a better phrase. Thermal vest and a thermal set of long johns. Hey, bear in mind, you, you're not going to a fashion show. This ain't like to look good in front of the wife or the girlfriend or boyfriend. Um, this is for you to keep warm and keep alive. Um, so yeah, so wear these things. I do, and you can't beat them. I would say, I would say, don't buy these things online. Um, because, I know, I, I know this isn't fair, this is making a generalisation of, of what I'm going to say, but... Um, if you buy these things online, you don't know where they come from, you don't know how they're made, you don't know what they're made of, 
might give you a label, but what are you? Are you, a, you a fabric person? You know, you ain't. So, them three things. If you go to the shop, you can feel it. You can get tactile with these garments. You can feel them. And I know it sounds silly, but if you open up a sleeve and put your hand in it, you, you'll soon know whether it's any good or not. You'll soon know whether it's any good or not. Next time I do this, I'm going to wear a white t-shirt so you can see me. <laughs> She's so lovely. Um, anyway, so that's, that's your base layer. And that base layer goes from your feet all the way up to your neck. Socks. Go for a nice pair. You know what warm socks are. You know of all your socks in your drawer what warm socks are. Um, and in a lot of cases, when you go out in, in the cold and you think, geez, my feet are cold, you've got to roll socks on. So, you know, put, play around with your socks. I'm not saying go and buy bloody socks. You can buy thermal socks, but like I said, if you're going to do that, you've got to go to somewhere like, um, if you go to an army surplus store or um, anywhere like that, then that's probably a good idea because the army know no good thing about it being warm, cold, wet, dry, and all that. They really, really do. Army surplus stuff is really good stuff. It's made well. It's it's just really good stuff. So go for that. But don't buy it online. You know, go somewhere. Go somewhere. Feel the stuff. Feel the product. Don't know. You might order something online for an army surplus store, but they're not really an army surplus store. You've seen online. Uh, you, you'll see this item online when you click on the shop um, I've done it I've clicked on the shop for something from my bike and when I've looked at the, the shop or the seller it turns out they've sold electrical goods and uh, other stuff and bits and bobs and this and that and the other one I think well hold on a minute that's not good because they don't know about the product anyway barking on it um, oh god it's just 15 minutes into the video funny get funny funny right so we're on to the undergarments we're on the overgun it's layers, layers, layers. Um, wear a, a t-shirt, wear a t-shirt and a sweatshirt. Wear your, wear your um, I'd say if you're going to put waterproofs on, um, then you've already got your, your undergarments on. Um, if you've got waterproofs on, if they are the trouser type waterproofs that don't go over the top of the jeans, then they're probably already suited to cold weather riding. Um, I'll give you an example in a minute. Um, like I said, t-shirt, sweatshirt. Um, if you've got one, and if you've got one, got one, a heated jacket or a heated vest. Uh, yeah. I've got a heated vest. It's a Triumph one. I've done a video on this before. It's a Triumph one. It's made by EXO, and it's really good. I really, I really don't go far without it, even on late summer days. Um, it's really good. It warms. You bung it over there now. It warms the the, the lumbar part of your back. Um, so that's really good, but that's another layer. So I've got a t-shirt, sweatshirt, and that. And then I've got a jacket. Oh, sorry, I moved you then. Let's bring you back. And then I've got the jacket over the top of that. And the jacket, it's a good jacket. It's lined, it's quilted. It's got a removable liner because you get too warm. But it's got it's got layers in that jacket. It's got that thermal lining. It's got a Gore-Tex breather. It's got the waterproof outer. It goes right up to the collar. This felt liner goes right up to the collar. It's a really good jacket. It's never ever let me down. Never let me down. I've just scratched my bike, but that's never let me down. Um, right, so let's, I'm, I'm rushing through this now, but there's two things you, you can't beat, you can't beat quality. But in saying that, 
you, you've got to you've got to um, you've got to be reasonable if you're going to be going short trips if you commute to work on a motorcycle and you know in 10 minutes time you're going to a nice warm office factory warehouse whatever it is a warm environment uh, or even your 10 minute journey home you, you've got to think about it think right i don't need a full arctic gear just to go home because i know that in 10 minutes time i will sit in front of a nice warm cozy cup of tea um, so bear in mind but my advice is my advice is when it comes to buying stuff for riding in the winter you buy what you can afford that's the easiest way of putting it and i know it's a stupid saying but you really do you have to buy what you can maximum afford if you can buy buy the best you can afford i think that's what i'm trying to say buy the best you can afford i've had that jacket for 10 years 10 years and it's only i said never let me down it did let me down once but then it doesn't matter what i had on that day i'd have got wet it doesn't matter what i had it was raining so hard i was on a french motorway lorries cars it was it was you couldn't see in front of you it was raining that hard nothing was going to keep you dry that day but like I say, buy what you can afford, but buy the best you can afford. The best advice you can ever have. Right, now, that so that's the da-da-da, the jacket, the trousers, and all that. Um, I'll skip one. When it comes to up here, your neck area, because between the jacket and your head, you've got that bit of, that bit of open space that the wind is catching all the time and that is a real vulnerable area for cold wet snow now there's a, there's there's a few things a nice this is a good scarf it's a good summer scarf because you can only wrap it around once but it's a good winter scarf because because it's that big you can wrap it around a couple of times or double it over and wrap it around and it, it it keeps the wind out, that cold air. When you think of keeping the cold air out, you've got to think of, um, you, you've got to make up a, a, a baffle, a barrier, to stop the airflow from getting in. And if you crumple that up, and do, do that upstairs. You've got a hairdryer, crumple it up, and blow hot air at it. And then do it again, when you've only got that much. And see the difference, you, you, can, you can experiment yourself on airflow, I love airflow. I've always had that, but that's that's what you got to do. You got to diffuse the cold air that reaches your skin. Um, a lot of us use these neck warmers. Now they're very good. They are very good, um, but when you look at the thickness of that material, that ain't gonna keep a lot of wind out on a cold day. It really, really ain't. Um, what I did. I got me neck warmer, which is that one, but I sewn in the woolly neck warmer, would it? I sewed, I sewed it with a little dodgy, can you see it? Dodgy, dodgy sewing. Can you see that? Dodgy, dodgy sewing. But it worked. And now, when I put that on, Exhibit B, Your Honour. Let's roll this down. I've got the woolly part, that woolly part, which is the main diffuser that's around my neck and the back of my neck area and then just for a little bit of extra extra comfort on my part that. and on a really cold day that becomes that yeah because because on a cold day your head and how many times I said, oh, you lose 70% 70, 70, 70 of your heat through your head. Well, it's bloody true, you do. You freeze the bloody death through your bonds. Especially with your no air like mine. So, on a cold day, you've got to wrap your head up. Um, your crash helmet will not keep heat in. It won't keep heat in. It's being thundered and it's being 
pushed around by all that cold air. So your crash on it will not keep heat in. It'll probably radiate heat out, if anything. Um, if you've got a visor, I know it's you super cool guys. I do the same. I only wear a pair of glasses in the summer. Um, but in the winter, you need something else. You need a visor. You need to protect you need to protect your body from the elements. Um, so put a visor on, put a big scarf on, put something on. Right, something else I've learned over the time is, when you put these things on, when you put these things on, um, you always put them on so they, they tuck into your, oh, I've got to put it on over there, because I've got to put it on where someone say, nye, 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 nye. What we do is we put this on and then we put our jacket on and then we do it up and that, that keeps us warm, doesn't it? That keeps us nice and cosy, well the other one does. Um, but if it's cold and it's pouring down with rain on a motorcycle, this, this is a sponge. This will soak up water quicker than anything else on your body. How many times have you, have you been, you've got to the other end that bit of your, your jacket, your, your weight, your sweatshirt, your t-shirt, that bit down there is all wet because that's where the water's gone. It's gone down there, this has soaked it up and it's gone into your, into your underclothes. So what I do is, when it starts raining, I pull that out. I pull it out and I stick it over the top of my jacket. So when that soaks up, the water doesn't go straight down the front of your shirt straight down the back of your jacket this just soaks it up and then sends the water away it works for me when you're wearing um, a scarf well, it's different you, you know you, you, you've got to work that out if you're putting that, that scarf on like I did earlier that big towel thing, then if you want to stop because you've got to make yourself comfortable if you get wet you're on if you get wet you're uncomfortable if you get cold you're uncomfortable combat both um, but if you get wet you say oh, game over it's just an horrible horrible can it's an horrible ride once you get wet right moving on because time's moving on um, gloves I'm lucky I've got a fairing I've got a fairing on my motorcycle um, and I wear these gloves and I wear these gloves all year round I'm lucky like that because I've got a fairing I don't get any of the wind blasted on me it's a very good fairing um, I don't get any wind on me. If I didn't have a fairing, um, which which I know, which I know is a bit of a problem for cold weather, I've not always had a bloody fairing. Um, I've come up, we, we, I've been out with mates and we've pulled up at the, the end of the road, the roundabout, the traffic lights, whatever it is. Um, and one of the guys will, will pull up next to me and will go, it's chilly, isn't it? And I'll go, is it? Because I've got the fairing, it didn't matter. Anyway, without fairing, you need a you need a decent pair of gloves. Now these are very lightweight, they're, they're high in Garrick. I've had them years. I really have had them years, but I don't use them much because I use them all the time. Um, but they're really good. I mean, I put them on now and already my hand is warming up. They're, they're really, really good. They're really good. Um, but that's what you got to do. Again, I don't think they were a lot of money. I think they were like 20 quid. Um, but I went to the high in Garrick shop to buy them. I didn't buy them online. I'm not anti-online shopping, but I think when it comes to stuff that's going to keep you alive or keep you safe, maybe it's good to go and sample the stuff yourself. Um, there's always a bike shop near you. There's always going to be a bike place that's near where you are. There really is. Um, if there ain't travel to one, it's worth the expense of going and trying these things on, having a look, and seeing what you can do about it. Right, uh, if I've missed anything, let me know. I'll go over it in the next thing. So I've done heads, knees, bumps of daisy, feet, feet, personal choice, personal choice. Um, you, 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 can, you can buy over boots to keep your feet dry. They will keep the wind out as well. So if you want to buy over boots, keep your wind, to keep your feet dry, keep the wind out, that will keep your feet a bit warmer 
but your feet are going to get cold. There's no doubt about it. They're going to get cold. Um, I don't think it matters what you buy. You can buy plug-in feet. Um, you can buy plug-in mitts, plug-in hands and all that. But it's expensive. Um, if you can afford it, buy it. If you can't, battle it. Um, but that goes back to the good pair of socks. Um, if you've got a good pair of motorcycle boots, they should keep the, 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 the most of it out anyway. If you haven't got a good pair of motorcycle boots, go and buy some. Because you, if you're riding around without a pair of good motorcycle boots on, well, you're just asking for trouble when you fall off. Because you will fall off. We all do. We all do. Um, right. I think that's covered the, the basics of the motorcycle clothing. I've gone over it very, very quickly. If I've missed anything out, please tell me. I'll do a part two of this video. Um, but we're coming up to 28 minutes on the video. I don't like to go over 30 minutes because I just don't. Um, that's the cat on the roof. A bloody zoo here, it really is. Um, anyway, uh, one last thing. When you're riding in the cold, there's Charlie, the cat. Hey, <laughs> Charlie. When you're can say hello to Charlie. When you're riding in the cold, if you feel tired, just put me out of the way. Hey Charlie. If you feel tired, stop. If you if you're if you're cold and tired, you will you are asking for trouble because you will have an accident. If you think you're gonna fall asleep. It's the um, blink test. Guys, guys, come on, make him, make him move his head. It's the blink test. If you blink, but it's not a blink, and you find that your eyes have shut for a couple of seconds, and then you open them, stop. Stop, 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 because you're asking for trouble. You will have an accident. You, you, you're, on, you're on that slope. Yeah, you're on that wane, that, that slope of tiredness, fatigue cold and if it's cold out if it's if it's a cold cold day and you're doing that you're already on the hypothermia highway okay so when you ride in the cold weather regular stops even if it's 10 minutes to warm yourself up drink hot drinks eat hot meals even if they're snacks so I I don't want anything to eat. I'm hungry. Have a snack. Have a hot snack. Um, I'm not going to tell you what a hot snack is. You know what a hot snack is? Sausage roll. Anything. Just have a hot snack. So, hot, hot, hot. And you'll stay hot. If you find yourself cold and you can't warm up, don't sit there doing that. Don't warm your hands up. All right? Don't do that. Because... You're doing that and your body is then trying to warm all this bit up and all this and it's, you know, you'll feel that. You do that now, as soon as you stop doing it, your hands ain't warm, they're still cold. So don't bother doing that. Get your hands in your jacket, like this, and just, and just rub your chest. Just rub your chest. If you keep that warm, they'll be warm. Trust me. Rub your chest. It's a survival method. When you're out in the snow and the wind and the rain and, and all that, when you want to get warm, you have to rub your chest. If you're with your girlfriend and your wife, offer to get her warm as well. If you're with your girlfriend and your wife, oh, cool, dude. <laughs> but do that, all right? So rub your chest to keep that warm. You must keep that area warm. You must keep that warm, you must keep that warm, you must keep these bits warm. If you keep these bits warm, they'll look after these bits. It's the easiest way of putting it. Alright, I'm sorry guys, it sounded like a bit of a lecture today, didn't it? But um, I was asked to do this video, so I've done it. I will put your name up, and um, that's it. The normal um, service will, will resume um, next week. Who are you shivering for? You're cold as well, aren't you? Hey, it's a chilly day. It's a chilly day. Um, my wife was going to, just a quick one, I'm going to throw this in on the end. Right, take that. Here you go, girl. You can love me, isn't she? My wife's going to throw this away. 
What is it, I ask? What is it you ask, even? The bread bin. But look at that wood. That is a really, really good wood. Look at that. It's real thick wood. Can't throw it out, away. That has got to be used for something. Um, I, I think I know what I'm going to use it for, which, which would be surprising. It's going to take a bit of work, but I think I know what I'm going to use it for. Um, if you've had any, any ideas, keep it clean. What I can use it for, keep it practical, and um, let me know. Uh, but that's it, that's it. Now I've done it's down to 30, it's gone to 30 minutes. I don't like keeping it over 30 minutes because it just drags on. Then I'm not a big fan of over 30 minute videos. Um, and besides, my tea's going cold. Um, now as I change the cup, yeah, but oh, it's gone cold. But thanks for watching thanks for the request um your name thanks for that very much it, it's really appreciated um and like i always say if you've got anything you want me to talk about do discuss try or whatever just let me know i'll, I'll do it um and then we'll get back to the usual service of mucking about in the shed and doing stuff um well we'll do that as well so yeah so keep it coming Thanks for watching. Stay clear with the chilly idiots. There's plenty of them out there. And it's Halloween. Be safe over Halloween. And um, I'll probably see you before Guy Fawkes Day. Um, but be safe over Halloween. Be careful of these young people throwing eggs just because you didn't give them a sweetie. Honestly, you're 18. You should be at work. say put bread in. We tried that, she didn't like it. <laughs>